Hello friends, welcome to my channel Cook with Reena. Today uh, I am going to prepare a, a very popular recipe of South India that is Uppa. But um, I have given a twist to it and I uh, will show you how to make a healthy version of Uppa with less oil and with steamed vegetables and I will finish it with a twist. I hope you will like it. Um, uh, let's start then. First, I'll introduce to you with the ingredients. Of course, this is the key ingredient. It's the suji. Uh, this, we, we will prepare the upma with this. And these are carrots and beans. Uh, I have steamed it so that I don't have to fry it in oil. It is already little bit cooked. These are roasted peanuts. And this is dal which we use in tapering. This is white urad dal. I have soaked it and it is soft now. Of course the curry patta, curry leaves and some chopped green chilies. And these are grated ginger and a piece of lemon. Of course some oil. You can use uh, uh, olive oil or any white refined oil. And for tempering we will require this mustard seeds and whole red chilli. Of course the water also and water measurement will be you just measure the suji in a cup wherever you measure the suji you have to take just double of the water just ensure that then it will come exactly a very uh, nice textured so let me start so let me start <coughs> I am heating the pan and it is already hot so I will dry roast this semolina. You roast it until the moisture is dry, dries up and it doesn't get that much color. It will remain whitish, but you will know you will get the aroma of roasting semolina. Just up to that, you have to roast it. Few people like it very brown version. If you want, you can do that also. Just see, the semolina has started getting some color at the bottom. This is the right time, I will remove it. I don't want it to be very brown, so I love that. Just see. Now I will remove it from the fire. fire. Transfer it to, to another bowl and then you wipe it with the dry cloth. Now I will pour some oil to it. See this is more than uh, one cup, one and uh, one fourth cup. So in that I will pour, pour. Two spoons of oil. And the whole suji will get cooked in this oil only. I'll add whole red chili to it. Just break it. It will release the aroma. Then the mustard seeds. And the, this. Lentil.
roast it, fry it till it gets color, it's brown. So you can see it is already browned. Now I will add this curry pata. I prefer adding it later because you know if you directly put on water uh, oil, it scatters much and it burns if you roast the dal. And now the green chilies. You can hear the scattering sound of this curry patta. You always wash it and dry it before you put it in the oil. Now I'll add, add this vegetables. They are steamed, so they are very soft. So you don't need to fry it much. You just saute and add this ginger and add this water i told you these are this is already measured water so i add whole of it salt to it this one heaped teaspoon of salt I am adding after uh, when the water starts boiling you just taste it the seasoning if it is quite salty then this will balance after uh, putting the semolina and if it is not that salty, then you have to add little more of salt. It depends, you know, what salt you are using. Let it get a boil. The water has started boiling. So let me, I'll also check the salt level. It's on the lower side so if you want to have low salt then don't add any more but you for, uh, eat normal salt then you need to add half a teaspoon of more salt now I'll cover it let the water get good boil and it will be cooked the uh, otherwise if you mix the semolina in uh, unboiled water then it will the water will remain uh, raw and it may smell raw so it's better you cook the water nicely before you add the semolina so uh, just one minute is fine for boiling the water is boiling nicely and since the vegetables were pre-cooked I mean it was steamed you don't need to cook it for much time you remove it and simmer the gas gas flame and slowly add this semolina to the water slowly otherwise you will get lumped lumped to it so just see this is this will be the consistency and now what will happen to cover it and the rest of the cooking will be done in steam I will cover it and it will it will be cooked in steam rest of the cooking will happen in steam in the meantime what we will do for some for some gar I will prepare the garnishing Whatever twist I told you, it is with a twist that I am adding that twist to this. 
So it will be like that. You add very little oil. Just half teaspoon. Let the, uh, this get hot. Then I have some steamed broccoli. This broccoli, I'll add the garnish, the semolina with this. Slightly stirred broccoli. In high flame, you stir it till it gets little color over it. And you know the goodness of broccoli, nutrients, it will add to your semolina and it will be a, become a hearty breakfast for you. So already it's done. Just got some color. Just sprinkle little Salt to it. It's better if you have sea salt, you use that or Himalayan pink salt will be very good. I had some pink salt, I added that. And now to this, I will squeeze some, you switch off the flame and squeeze, squeeze some lemon juice. Add some lemon juice to it. Nice. This is done. I will move it. Now let me see what is the condition of this. <coughs> and some of my this lighter is not working so I am using this See how attractive it is looking with this green, orange, wonderful. So your upma is ready. Let's see, it's ready. It's ready to serve. Perfect in salt also. Just switch off the gas and it's ready for. I should make a nice presentation. So, here I had filled the bowl with the semo, uh, cooked semolina upma and now how will you present it? Just see. It's ready. Now what you have to do? Put this lemony broccoli on top and sprinkle some toasted peanuts to it. Just see how it's look. You'll love it, you know. If you find something attractive, you feel like eating it. So present your family members with this Upma, I hope everybody will like it and you have also liked it and please, please click on the like button, like, share with your friends this healthy recipe and 
Do not forget to subscribe my channel to get notification of all the recipes I add to this channel. Thank you so much. Then again I shall meet you with some new recipes, interesting recipe. Thank you.